So Christmas, you know, came in early for Mr. P. Funds here in Ghana because he's in Ghana. Exactly why he's in Ghana. Well, the man himself is here to tell us. I've been following your lead. <laughs> Thank you. But before I start off, um, I'm sure a lot of people want to know why I'm here. And secondly, how are you sure this is Peter? How are you sure this is Mr. P? Uh -huh. Am I? Because we're trying to, you know, maintain this whole COVID thing. It's very, very serious, guys. It's very, very serious. My advice. Keep yourself safe out there. Always put on a mask. But uh, if I remain like this, I'm sure one of you said it, it wasn't Peter that came. Uh -huh. It was probably some ninja or somebody or someone who just came with a mask. But it's me. Hi, guys. My name is Peter Okoye, popular known as Mr. P. Mm. Now you can see me. <laughs> I'm right here in Accra, Ghana. Your new song, Follow My Lead, doing extremely well. Um, I, I would love to hear about, you know, the making of the particular, that's this particular song and you know, what inspired the song. For me, um, I've had, uh, I had a pro this producer who, his name is Sammy Fire. Um, he sent me this beat like three years ago. And I kept on playing this beat, like I really love it. But the truth is that, Anytime I play it, I don't see anything that, you know, I don't feel that thing that says, okay, this is the right way to go about it. So, you know, I said, okay, you know what, I'm going to get it right. So um, I guess like about six months ago, because I initially, I just said to myself, because of the COVID and all that, and I wanted to, I had a lot of stuff going on. I said, you know, I need a break for a while, you know. So by the time I get into the studio, when I say a break, it's like in terms of performance and all that, you know. So I got into the studio one day and I had a, a friend of mine who said, Peter, that beat you play for me that day. Play it again. Mm -hmm. I played it. He said, Peter, you say you're about to take a break. What's the break for? I said, well, I'm doing, I've been doing a lot with this whole COVID and I just want to, you know, so okay, cool. Why don't you use that and introduce yourself after a certain while? Mm -hmm. So okay, cool. Like what? Peter is bringing it back again. And he said, no, tell everyone to follow your lead. I said, mm, okay, cool. What's it going to sound like? So started playing the next thing. Follow my lead, he came up and all, and that was it. And uh, it's an amazing track. Yeah. Uh, everyone is loving it. Although people felt it wasn't really the Peter we expected. What's going on? But it's just the whole idea. One needs to be like, you know, you don't have to say this is your own style. You know, remember even the, the days of when we, I was in the group, there's always this thing saying, what kind of music do we do? I'll tell you, hmm. people will say Afro. This one will say hip hop. So I said, I tell them, we do good music, and that's it. It's good to be versatile. I, I love that particular song, which is the reason why we are playing that song. I know that you have um, an entrepreneurial background. I know that you studied business administration in some way. Yeah. You did psychology as well. But I didn't see that business aspect. It's like <laughs> it's reflected now, which is the reason why you're here in Ghana. Well, the truth is that everyone knows me. If you're, if you're back home in Nigeria, you know this is me. Even when I was in, still in the group, uh, I started up something away from, you know, the, the music thing with, you know, my brother and all that. I just said, I went, I was doing my, I was building a beverage factory. I, w I came out with a, uh, a cartoon for the group then. Um, I still came up with uh, a reality TV show for myself. I've, I've always been that person that I want to do apart from me, just like the, the way other of our peer, uh, counterpart over there in the West, Western world. They still do music. We talk about Pop Daddy, he still does the music, he still does the clothing, and he still does the, the, you know, the drink. It has, you know, bar, restaurants, runs a huge empire. Jay-Z, the same thing, 50 said the same thing, come on. But I just noticed that over here, everyone just wants to grab this and go with it. No, come on, you just have to expand. But I've been, when it comes to the business part, has been I've been doing that. Like I run, I still do. Biz, I run most of the business even as a group. Then I was still the one running the business, mm. somehow. Yeah. Mm. Uh, let Let me move to the Afro Palm yeah. spirit, which is the reason why you're here. I would want to talk to uh, the CEO who is collaborating with you, Scott Kuju. If you can just, you know, excuse me for a little bit. Hello to you. Um, so you decided to bring Mr. P down to Ghana, and he's right here. Tell us about the product and uh, how the collaboration came. came, came. Okay, so look, Afro itself is a premium um, distilled, triple distilled organic palm spirit. Made by Africans, consumed by Africans, but enjoyed globally. Now, when you say we brought Mr. P in, that's a 
bit, the truth is a bit different. Yeah. He's a part of us, oh. right? Yeah. So he really is part of the shareholder group that built Afro, right? Um, so this here, like he told you about his entrepreneurial ventures, he is an avid business plan. We came together, so you have different people from different walks of life, finance, you know, entertainment, infrastructure, putting a product together that actually represents Africa. The base product itself, Palm Spirit, is something that we share across West Africa. Ogogoro in Nigeria, Akpadeshi in Ghana, um, Akpa in Cote d'Ivoire, uh, so to be in Togo Benin. This is a heritage we share. What we came together to do is bring that heritage to the fore, refine it, and make it accessible to the world. So we're here as partners and not him as an entertainer. Uh -huh. It's him as an entrepreneur that, that brings him here. Oh. So this is a totally different conversation. Okay. That's, that's interesting. There's a lot to learn from. Uh, so this Afro, so what, what, what inspired the decision to name it Afro? Should I go to you? I mean, when you, think, when you talk about Afrobeat, my name must come out. Like, I'm one of the pioneers. Mm. I'm one of the kings. I'm one of, like, you know. Um, the, godfather. it, the godfathers, I mean, you know, Afrobeat has brought Africa together. Like, trust me. And we needed our own premium product, premium drink. I mean, like, when, we, when Afrobeat came up, in as much as we didn't, you see the way we spelled it, Afro, the other way, yeah. the pH, we have our own reasons. You know, to give it that, you know, edge. But the truth is that um, we named it Afro, so it, it, it stays within that entertainment music circle, mm. right? With time, with time, people will understand really why we chose the name Afro. Oh. Like, like you say, it's an organic premium brand that's about to, to take over. Like me, you know, when this whole, the reason, I know the next question everybody will start asking, why Ghana, right? Come to him. But, I, I'm, I, but I will answer, then he will finish <laughs> up. It started here, and I respect that. Okay. And uh, but the fact that I respect, I, I, I love it that the whole thing started from here. Um, we would have launched or uh, unveiled in different parts of like Nigeria, uh, South Africa, but because of the COVID and all that, um, we, we, we kept on shifting. But we said we need to start now before 20. 21 to show that we've already introduced it and start kicking it off 100% uh, in 2021. Uh, so for me, Afro is about a takeover. Like I said, it's a premium brand. Mm -hmm. Like, now my, let me speak it very well. See, my use PG. No, no, so we want to go, 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 be. But the truth is that it's going to be consumed globally. Like, the world will appreciate it. Because we came up with something that we call our own. See, I said I posted something three, four days ago. Everyone was like, oh my God, what's going on? I said, listen, Africa is our time. We have our own. Like, we have our own. I'm not just saying it because others have done it. I'm saying it because we deserve to have our own. All right? This is a premium brand, very, very organic. It's 100%. When you look at this, look at this. Let, 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 let me say it. We've been going back and forth for the past how many years now? Trying to make sure we get it done properly. Right. Tested, going through the whole process and all that. Like, the first time um, we've had our first meeting here in Ghana, I knew that we're going to start from here. It doesn't really matter where you start. I'm sure my people are from home will be watching this. are like, oh, you decided to set up this and you started with Ghana. Mm. The truth is that we have this amazing six uh, uh, astute um, businessmen from Africa. One of them is Nigerian, and it's me. He's from here. We have another two from here. Then the other one, I think, from Angola. These are Africans. These are Africa. Do respect? It doesn't matter where it start, where where we are, where it's been produced. It's produced in Africa. Let's, first of all, before we start going into argument, oh, where is it, where, why, why are you launching here? Peter, is your own thing. Why don't you come to Nigeria? It doesn't really matter, guys. We need to start speaking in one voice, and trust me, Afro is about to do that for us. 
Just like Ghana Jollof or something like that, maybe. Okay, that one, no, let's, not, let's, not, let's not get into we won, that one. We won. We won. Uh, we, uh, I mean, no, no we... Just like, just like Jollof, right? Whether like, Nigerian, see, Ghanaian... Just, just like Jollof. Jollof. That's all I'm, that's very, I'm very excited that it started from, you know, Ghana and obviously our brothers... It didn't start from Ghana. It started it, in Africa. It started that's in it. Africa. Just, just, just drink, start, start, don't get me wrong, guy. It didn't start from Ghana. It didn't start, like I said, it it's the meeting started up here. In Africa, although in Ghana, but don't let us not say the drink is from Ghana. Yeah. It's our own premium organic palm spirit. Palm spirit. See, we didn't name it cognac. We don't name it uh, spirit or, um, or, or no, 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 not that. We, or we named it. What's it called? We have a uh, uh, cognac. We have uh, whiskey. whiskey. We have the jeans. We named it. You see palm wine. Mm. See the locally palm. Spirit, you know, you know. So look, and, and he says it all, right? Yeah. This product is supposed to give everyone an unapologetically African experience. Okay. This is unapologetically African. We have pride in this product. We've come together with the passion to refine something that really is of cultural heritage. It cuts across the whole coastal line of West Africa. But then you have two different variants. One that is fruity, that you get in different parts of Africa. Mm -hmm. One that is spicy, that you get from different parts of Africa. But it still remains unapologetically African. African. I understand there's a launch, you know, some, yes. s somewhere around. It's a whole Christmas package. To, do you want to tell me about the launch? Look, the, the, the launch, and you know, um, I, I'm, glad, I'm glad Peter is here because you talk about it a bit more. Um, we're launching tomorrow. We're launching on Saturday. Um, so we're glad that we have our brothers joining us, right, um, to launch it and launch it in a big way. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure right now the secret is out, right? Now everybody knows you're here, right? But, um, but yes. We, 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 um, we, we, we're launching. Um, we're more like unveiling uh, launch tomorrow because, like I said, we're launching here. We're not launching here in Ghana. We're launching in yeah. Africa. But stage by stage, we're going to be in South Africa. Zimbabwe. We're going to start, but we have to start here. This is where the meeting started up. This was here, here where it, it all began. When we sat down, we came for some event, and we sat down and said to ourselves, we're drinking this stuff. Where is ours? Like, where is our own? Which one can we call our own? But it started here, but let's just give the respect that it started here. Fine. It doesn't really matter who brought it up. But he started here. He's still here in the country, so we get to hear a lot more about this particular product. So stick with us.